Welcome, 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 everybody, to my very special birthday live. I want to thank you guys for being here and wanting to celebrate my birthday on this YouTube live with me. I woke up this morning, I was full of energy, and I said, What do I want to do after work? I want to do a YouTube live for my birthday. So I have a fun filled, packed hour for all of us. We're going to make some cocktails. We're going to play some trivia. I'm going to bring some guests up. I'm going to bring multiple guests up. I am going to give $36 away on Amazon today. Don't know why I'm giving $36 away. Maybe in one shot, maybe two, maybe three, but there may be something to the number 36, maybe, maybe not. But nonetheless, I want to thank all of you guys for being here to celebrate my birthday. So let's get to the chat. To see who we have here. Let's go up some of you guys. We're here really early. We have uh, Eddie Lugo Studios. Hello, 122. I hope I am not 122. I really hope not. Happy birthday, Scott, says Alice Lugo. Hello, Alice. Thank you for coming in. Will G says happy birthday. Thank you, Will G. Appreciate you, my friend. Uh, Tuber Chat said word up, word up, Tuber Chat. Thank you for coming in. Orange Cone Vlog says he is as old as my ex-girlfriend. She was prehistoric. Her name, Pterodactyl. Ross is always good for a joke or two. Thank you, my friend. Uh, I hope she's actually not, not, I'm not that old. I'm not as old as a dinosaur. Sometimes I feel like it, but not, that's not that old. Uh, we have my aunt, uh, Aunt June. Happy birthday, Scott. Hello, Aunt June. Ross says, don't count the years. Count the hairs left on your head. How about the four grays that I have in my beard? I call this a beard. I know. Don't make fun of me, but I call this a beard. It took me a long time to grow it. I don't know if I'm going to shave it or not. I'm probably going to shave it. But I got four in there. See? So I am getting old. <laughs> Carnival Cruise Haddock says, happy birthday, Scott. Thank you very much. Uh, Ross says, happy birthday, old man. Don't forget to iron the wrinkles out of your birthday shirt. I think I, think I did today. Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I get all the wrinkles? I think I did. Uh, Michelle WPB, happy birthday, Scott. I'm looking forward to tonight's show. Thank you for showing up. Uh, if anybody else calls you old this year, don't stress. Just throw away. Throw your cane and your dentures at them. Get my roll later. Somebody told me they were going to buy me a roll later for my birthday. Who was it? Who was it? I need it. <laughs> Uncle Dave, happy birthday, Scott. How we doing? And my uncle, Shady Brady. Hi, everyone. Happy birthday, Scott. Uh, Ross says, happy birthday, bud. You've reached the point where it's probably best to start lying about your age. That's right. Well, actually, to tell you the truth, when I shave my fake beard here, you know, I don't even have to lie about my age. A lot of people think I'm in my mid-20s. So, I don't know, maybe it's the Asian thing. Maybe it's the, I really can't grow facial hair. I don't know. But I just feel old. Uh, Ross says, there is only one... One one cure for gray hair. It was invented by a Frenchman. It's called the guillotine. Uh, Michael Ann Spoil Mama says, uh, "Happy birthday, Scott! Thank you, Michael." Danny D, the spectacular reporter, says, "Yo, yo, 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 Danny D! Happy birthday, Scott! Thank you very much, Danny D." Uh, Globies Travel is in here. Hello, 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 Globies. Warm, strong adventure says, let's the party begin. I hope you have a, a chocolate martini handy, my friend. Because this live calls for a, cho a chocolate martini. You know, I won't be drinking it, but that's okay. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> Eddie says, that's 525 and 27. That's correct. Ross says, statistics show that those who have had the most birthdays live the longest. That is true. Well, hello, Mandy Smith. Welcome in. Welcome in. Thank you for coming in and celebrating my birthday with me. I like birthdays, but I think too many can kill you. <laughs> Ross, you are on a roll, my friend. Cruise Light TV says, hey, buddy, happy birthday, Greg and Michelle. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, my new friend, Cobert Family, happy birthday. Welcome, welcome. If you guys uh, want to check out a really New and awesome cruising channel, Covert Family is it. Uh, they uh, they put out some really good vlogs. We actually went on the Jubilee like right after each other. I think I got off and then they got right on. 
but uh, they have some good content, so check them out. Rambling with the Brooms, howdy, hello, hello. Nijuma Brown says, hello, everyone, hello, Nijuma. Hello, Randy, they say it's your birthday. Happy birthday, Scott. Well, thank you, Randy, I appreciate you. Got a happy birthday from Nijuma. Thank you very much. Uh, we have, don't forget to hit that like button from Warm Strong, one of my moderators. Thank you very much, Warm Strong. Oh, Caitlin, thank you very much. She has happy birthday with a couple balloons. I appreciate you, Caitlin. Thank you. Uh, happy birthday, says Scott McNeil, another one of the Scots that holds up this cruising and travel community. Thank you, Scott. Uh, someone has been eating a lot of the Chinese leftovers. Yes, don't leave your leftovers near me. Cruise leftovers, any leftovers. Don't leave them near me. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, yes, and that's right. Danny D is almost a birthday twin of me. She is another Aries. She her birthday is on Thursday. So we are birthday, almost birthday twins, birthday week twins. So uh, happy early birthday to you, Danny. Like I said this morning, I'm gonna save all my birthdays because I am going to shower you on Thursday with so many happy birthdays for being the most spectacular supporter in our community. So uh, happy early birthday. I'll give you at least one, but uh, we're gonna save. All right, and uh, I am all the way down to the bottom of the chat. So now, without further ado, what is the first thing that you do when you go to a party? Well, first thing that I do when I go to a party. I'm already doing it. I mean, I'm like, I'm like pre-gaming here. What's the answer? Make a drink. That's right. So I couldn't think of anybody better to come up here and make a drink with me, then my good friends, please welcome them in. Carnival Cruise Addicts, Chris and Liz. Welcome in, guys. Oh, I got a double whiteboard. Happy birthday. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in, guys. Happy birthday, kind sir. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I figured that uh, there was nobody better by my side that has a bar <laughs> that has drank with me live on TV. Actually, that drinks live with me pretty much now at least once a week on YouTube. <laughs> Carnival Cruise Addicts is it. So I am going to craft myself a very special birthday drink. And all I'm going to ask of you guys, actually, is just to give me a cheers. So... All right, let me bring over my wonderful carnival glass here. Some of you might know this from uh, Thirsty Thursday Thursday. So let me turn it the right way to the carnival side so you can see it. So <laughs> all of you that know me know that I love iced tea. I love any kind of iced tea. Technically not sweet tea, more your unsweetened teas or your herbal teas. So I picked up this oolong tea and I said, well, what's oolong without alcohol? So, yeah. we're going to take the oolong tea, and we're going to mix it with some of my favorite alcohol. We're going to mix it with, oh, that's fine. mix it with some Tito's. Tito's, of course. Oolong. <laughs> we have some Tito's. Don't judge me. Yeah. All right, that's better. That, that, that second pour, I was gonna, that first pour, I was going to say, man, come on. It's your birthday. No. Okay, so. I'm going to shake the tea up until my hand freezes and I can't hold it anymore. Give you a good look. <laughs> now, I'm going to pour this in here. And I got a little topper, though. I got a little topper. And I also have a name for this cocktail. I don't have any creative, but I got a name. And I got creative. What are you doing? I'm watching you pour. I should have been a bartender before I was in the Look at that. That's perfect. And now, on top, just a little sparkling mm. ice, peach nectar. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right? Do, 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 do. Oops. Oops. All right. And now, with the wonderful bar set that Eddie Lugo Studios has gifted me, I'm just going <laughs> to gently stir this. Okay. That later. And now, I present you for Controversial Cruising's birthday, 
the Scott T. Oh. Right. Spelled S-C-O-T-T dash T-E-A, or you can spell it S-C-O-T-T-Y. So cheers, everyone out there. Cheers. Cheers. Or whatever. Happy you birthday. Eat. Alcoholic or not. I oh, know we're alcoholics. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that good one, guys. Nice. That's a good one. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> yes, look, look what Eddie says. Chris wants some. Here you go, Chris. Of course. Yeah, that oh, looks good. That's <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, what are you guys? Uh, what are you guys drinking over there? I know. Uh, I know you got we cheers, but what are you guys drinking over there? Um, I am drinking ice sparkling water, grape flavored. Grape raspberry. Oh, grape raspberry, yes. Grape raspberry. She does the ice just like you do. With, uh -huh. with vodka. Yes. Love it. And this evening, I'm going Grand Marnier straight. Nice and neat. Grand Marnier straight. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, we were actually talking about that, I think, in our uh, our last match game or the match game before that about Grand Marnier. Yeah. Oh, No. Last one was Geritol, the one before that we were talking about. <laughs> the G's. No, no Geritol. We're, we're older than you, but we're not on the Geritol quite yet. No. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Okay, so let me get back up here. Let me see. I might have lost my spot. No, I didn't. Okay. So, there we go. Uh, Ross says we can certainly show the aging. Pro we can certainly slow the aging process down if we had to work its way through con through Congress. <sighs> Antoinette at Fun, thank you for coming in. Happy birthday! Thank you so much. Uh, Donna Miss OCV says happy birthday. Thank you, Donna. I appreciate you. Very nice. Caitlin says hi. Cheers, Caitlin. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, look who it is. Everyone's favorite nurse, Denise. She says, Scott, happy birthday. Thank you very much, Denise. I appreciate you. <laughs> I'll tell you guys, I did try to get Denise on the show tonight, but she is working. So um, I am honored that she is even here uh, in her presence at work. So I appreciate you. Very cool. Very cool. Coming in. Uh, sex on the beach. Almost. Almost. It's called the Scott team. But... <laughs> by the ocean, whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say. Uh, Denise! Okay. Eddie Lugo Studio, it says, Bill! <laughs> shake it, shake it real good. Danny, Watch me get copyrighted for that. Right. <laughs> I'm at work, got to run, but wanted to tell my buddy happy birthday. Thank you so much. Means the nice. world. Cheers and happy birthday, Scout T. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, my other friend, Traveling Fools. Yo, 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 my friend. I uh, I try to, to me, I think me and Liz have this ongoing joke. Uh, I try, Traveling Fools, and you know, I try my hardest to stay up for your trivia. Oh, and, gosh. Uh, as we Look <laughs> I am I am kind of old at heart, right? Because I go to bed kind of early. <laughs> so I watched like 45 minutes of your of your your trivia last night, and then I fell asleep. And I was, didn't fall asleep because it was boring. I love your trivia. It's just that I'm old, and I fell asleep. And I woke up. Guess what? I woke up, traveling fools, at like 1:30. All my clothes were still on. The lights were still on. Your live was still on. You were like at the end where you were like frozen. I must have rolled over on the phone. <laughs> I can't explain it. I have no idea. But anyway, Traveling Fools puts on a really good trip. Yes, they do. And I don't know how they do it for hours and hours and hours. But she's notorious, just like you, Scout. Wake up in the morning, she's got her laptop stuck to her chest and headphones on. And <laughs> I stop doing it. They're, they're on the screen frozen doing it, you know, something like this. You know? uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Traveling Fools says, happy birthday, brother. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Uh, and says, Liz, love the balloon. Yes, I was actually going to comment on that. I saw this uh, this balloon behind you, and I said, is that a happy birthday balloon? It's for you, Scott. Oh, <laughs> it's a happy you birthday shouldn't balloon. have. That's for you. They had Disney. I didn't think it was like Disney or anything. So we got one that It's kind of boring, but it is. Last minute, sorry. <laughs> like I said earlier, as I'm walking out of the supermarket, Liz is like, hey, you still there? I'm like, no, I'm at my car. She's like, go get a balloon for Scott. I'm like, okay, going back in. <laughs> I, love that. I 
love that. And thank you for all 27 of you for being here. I appreciate you celebrating my birthday. I promise we uh, have so much to do. We have so much to do. This is this one of the first guests. I actually have a very special comment to pop up here from my cousin, Jason Woolley, who has the same last name as me, if you guys know my last name. This is my blood cousin. And he says, yo, Scott, Scotty, Scotty, here with the other birthday boy, Ryan. And that is my... Technically, my second cousin who turned 11. We share the same oh. birthday, yet I have never met him. So oh. I told my cousin today, my first cousin, before I am dead, I have to meet uh, because there's 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 multiple. There's like five second cousins, six second cousins, seven second cousins that I haven't met yet. They're all in the ranges of like you know eight to like I don't know 14 or 15, and. You know, when they were born, you know, I was around that age, you know, 20 ish, something like that. And now I'm just like, they're all like, they're growing up. So I have to meet them before they're like my age. And I'm like, you know, in a cane or a rollator or dead or something. So, but yeah. Well, wait until so, they're 21 and then you can go out at least have a drink with them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, of course, 11, I mean, 10 more years, Ryan. I mean, peace. Oh, Lord. Oh, hell. We've been drinking since we were young. So. And by the way, also, that is the partying side of the family. Too, just to let you know. Jason, knows, Jason knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, Uncle Dave says, I am honored to be part of the support and bunch of functioning alcoholics on YouTube. You are my people. Woo, functioning Woo. alcoholics. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Touche. Yes, Traveling Fools is laughing. But all in love, my friend. All in love. Uh, happy birthday to your cousin. Yes, hey, look at that. You're getting some love in here, right? We got some. We got some. Yeah. Uh, I have too many cousins on my mom's and dad's side. I can't keep track of them. I know. <sighs> Me too. Honestly, second cousins. And now, honestly, there's third cousins being born after, like, some of the older second cousins. Oh, come on, guys. Give me, like, give me some years to catch up here. I mean, you guys are all on the East Coast. They're all on Pennsylvania, New York, Florida. So time to catch up. <laughs> I promise. Yeah, once it gets past, like, second and third cousin, I lose track. I'm like, I'll just call you my friend, you know? Uh, psb odyssey says happy birthday thank you paul for making it in i appreciate you my friend uh cme traveling says happy birthday scott at controversial cruising well thank you very much kurt and marsha i appreciate you uh hi controversial cruising scott hello sharon Rowland. i usually she's sharon in the morning so i know she's up late here for this live appreciate you sharon and, uh, oh, look at this, guys, this. <laughs> this is my heart right here. This is why I started YouTube. He said, Ryan said he wants to go on a cruise with you. Ryan, Jason, I would love nothing more than to plan that together. We can plan it together. I'll ask a bunch of questions. We'll figure out where Ryan really wants to go. And uh, we will we'll, we'll show him a good time. We'll show him the other side of cruising. We'll show... Obviously, you've been on a cruise, too, as well, Jason. But, uh, yeah, I mean, that right here, folks, if you've ever started a YouTube or wanted to start a YouTube, it's so hard, right? And not need to get too far into bringing my next guest up, but it is so hard to get your family and in life real friends. And I know Tuber Chat is notorious for saying this like this, so I might say it exactly like he does because I've listened to him a million times. But it's so hard to get our in-life family and friends to actually support us, right? They know we have a YouTube, right? I sent it to my mom and my dad. They're not here. I mean, I love them, but Jason <laughs> and Ryan both told me they were going to be here. It lit me up inside. I didn't know if they were really going to show up, right? Because I've had people from my family say that before, but now to have my cousin and my second cousin come up here and really want to actually go on a cruise because I've already cruised with my oldest, my first cousin before. I mean, that's, that, that's I mean, awesome. it almost brings a, a tear of joy to my eye. So, that's Ryan, cool well, man. Cruise with you, my friend, and uh, my cousin, and Jason, I can't wait to show him the ropes. So, that's, uh, that is awesome. That's the ultimate birthday present, if I could ever have. <laughs> it is true. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, happy birthday, uh, Controversial Cruising. I almost said Carnival Cruise Addicts. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Okay, so our names are very close, and, and there are multiple times when I've been like, you know, oh, I'm Scott from Carnival Cruise Addicts. I mean, Controversial Cruise. <laughs> you know, we're just in the same. Yeah. So, yeah, 
Yes. No, happy birthday, Scott, from Controversial Crimson. <laughs> <Where I'm gonna laughs> uh, and uh, Jason says, yes, we will make that. So I am so, so happy. Uh, I, I, that, that just makes me smile. We will definitely talk about that. Uh, there's definitely some ideas that I have. I know he's a little bit young. I know that there's ideas that uh, that I do have, so we'll we'll definitely get to talking. Um, all right. So, with uh, that said, I am going to cheers now uh, to my friends here up on the screen, Liz and Chris. And uh, if you guys have any uh, any parting words or anything that you would like to say. Uh, before I bring up my next guest, uh, no, we we just say like we we love you, Scott. Yeah. You are like so in like intelligent. You know so much about like how this all works. You've helped us a lot. You're a good human being, and we just are happy to be here to wish you happy birthday. Yeah, I mean the fact that you had us on, uh, we we really appreciate. It. We we are honored to be here for your birthday, and to be a hundred percent honest with you, we are super honest. Um, we're honored, uh, and. God, thank you. Absolutely. I, I'm so okay, glad to be here. The, 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 I keep being you. Yeah, just be you. The stuff you've taught us, uh, the amount of time you've spent off camera uh, and with us helping us is tremendously appreciated. So everybody out in the chat and everybody live here knows this. You're just a great you, person. You man. deserve all the love. Yeah, absolutely. Very much. It really means a lot. And uh, – so I, we, we actually have one more thing to do before I let you guys go. So uh, we have people that stick around. But we, we have been trying to give this away for a few weeks now, or at least a week, week and a half. So I've devised a plan. I have devised a plan. Yes. So this wonderful Carnival Cruise Addicts tumbler that all three of us have. Up here. <laughs> we are going to give one away right now. So I tried to give away one on the very first match game. And somebody gave it away. And then I tried to give it away on Thursday, Thursday trivia last week. And then somebody gave it away. So now we're going to give it away right here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to share this on the screen. Whoops. No. Wrong button. I'm glad I didn't hit studio. That would have been weird. Uh, okay. Everybody get ready. Here we go. Because right now I want you to type into the chat. Hashtag birthday. That's right. Hashtag birthday. And you will be entered, all 27 of you, to win this Carnival Cruise Addicts. Completely free. We got to Because Carnival Cruise Addicts do me a favor, so I will pay for it. Wolf. <laughs> 12 entries. 12 entries. And honestly, okay, so little transparency. One of my friends bought me a Stanley coffee pour over cup system thingamajigger. It's like for campers. So before that, I was drinking out of this tumbler for basically three and a half weeks straight. From coffee to vodka, basically, interchange. I mean, not vodka every night, but almost every night. Okay, interchangeable. Now, this coffee cup, well, this tumbler, this coffee cup, gets to stay at home and be the featured alcohol YouTube tumbler. It doesn't have to have coffee in it anymore, and I don't have to swirl it around and wash it with Dove and, you know, do this. Oh, that, oh, that's, oh yeah, that still smells like coffee. No, I don't have to do that anymore. Now it just gets alcohol and salt. Yes, yes, yes. That's what that's what it's meant for. Yes. <laughs> that's what I, mean, I drink water. I drink water out of it too. Of course. Okay. With vodka. With vodka. You know, a little touch. <laughs> All right. Anybody, uh, anybody else who are the hashtag birthday. Hashtag birthday, no capitals. All 24 of you are entered to win if you type hashtag birthday. But once I hit draw, that's it, because we only got one to give away. So don't forget, stick around because I'm giving out only $36 today. $36 to Amazon. And I know all of you shop on Amazon. I did today already. <laughs> it, it's not a day goes by where I, she doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it's just a little back. And if you have Prime, it's just too easy. It's too easy. I mean, come on. It's just too it easy. Is. All right. 17 entries. I will give you guys uh, like a. Uh, Ten more seconds. We'll do a little. We'll do a little. Well, Scott takes a sip. We'll, 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 we'll count while you take a sip. 
Wait, and start sipping. You have to you have to sit for ten seconds starting now. <laughs> then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. <laughs> Ta -da! So, happy birthday. All right, let's pick the tumbler winner. Here we go, everybody. Here we go. Right. It's the person bringing home the Carnival Cruise Addicts Tumblr. Don't, 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 don't. Yay! <laughs> yes. Okay, um, so I remember your address. I think I'm. Your address. Done. Uh, if, if not, email me at carnivalcruiseaddicts at gmail.com. I will get you your Tumblr. That was awesome. That was great. It is for alcohol only, apparently. No, no, no. <laughs> Hot and cold. All right, you, we are behind. You need to let your less. Yeah, yeah, you got more yeah. guests, man. That's We're going to okay. wish That's you happy birthday again. Thank you guys so much. Love you. I love you. Guys. Love you. Thank you for spending uh, my birth. Uh, thank you for spending my birthday with me. <laughs> we're right. honored, oh, man. We, we, we appreciate the invite, and we're like, hell yeah. Liz texted me today. I'm like, hell yeah. I don't know. Always. Yep. Always. <laughs> and uh, yes, I will see you guys later this week because uh, yes. I will actually be live with Carnival Cruise Addicts on Friday. At uh, 8 p.m. PST for our third week of the match game. I'm so With excited. With Cruise Life TV, yes. With Cruise Life TV, yes. Cruise Life TV, yeah. Carnival Cruise Addicts, and Controversial Cruising, Captain Controversy, as yeah. your. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right. Happy Cruise birthday, Thank Scott. you guys so much. I will see you guys later. We appreciate Bye. you. Bye. Boom. There I am. Back up on the screen. Hello, guys. All right. So. Awesome, Michael and Spoil Mama for winning this uh, this tumbler. That's awesome. I mean, come on. Mm -mm -mm. Uh oh. Michael and says yes, Liz. I will. In I will email you. Thank you. And uh, we thought I was. We were going to do my whole birthday live without this guy coming in. Happy birthday, Captain Controversy. Get drunk, naked, and rock and roll with your. Well, guess what, Ricky. I did something this week, and I'm going to tell you right now. I booked your rock and roll cruise. That's right. I did. I did. I did. This week, I put on my deposit there with Bruce. I found myself a roommate, and I am going to come and find you. I'm going to come find you, Ricky. I'm going to come and find you. Believe me, on that rock and roll cruise, so you can't hide from me. You may be able to hide in the chat, but you can't hide from me. Uh, oh, look at this. I know, Sean, run. Ricky's here. Happy 21st. How does it feel to be 21? I don't know. It's been so long. <laughs> hey, Ry, what's up, my friend? What's up, cuz? We are going to go on a cruise real soon. Real, real soon. Uh, Robert Peak says, evening. Hello, Robert Peak. Appreciate you. Okay, so uh, let me bring up, without further ado, my next guest. Now, you may see me live with this uh, YouTube creator. Quite often, maybe once a week, uh, he is uh, one of my esteemed co-hosts uh, that I uh, I love and adore. Uh, so everybody, please put your hands together for Mr. Warm Strong Adventure. Hey, birthday, young Mr. man! I mean, I, I would kill to be your age. <laughs> Literally. Mr. Bill. I mean, okay, so this morning on Jimmy's Live, I was 66. So Kenny had me at born in 1958. Sometimes I feel like it. Right like, around there, right? I'm really 36, so that's just so yeah. so, um, how <laughs> you You say that, but in YouTube years, uh, I don't know. You're about 58 or 59. Yes, yes. You're, you're not wrong with that, I know. And it, somehow or another, Warm Strong, I had two lives a week, and now. It's like four. I, yeah, I'm about to say, Scott. I mean, when are you going to do your own podcast? You you had it going for a second. We got to keep you busy. You're not, you're not busy enough. I am. So I think, honestly, I'm going to create 
something around this day, like 5.30, I think I'm going to start to introduce that 30-minute uh, podcast that I was talking about yep. and, uh, and do it from 5.30 to 6. They are going to be pre-recorded episodes, but only for the fact that me and the guest can both be in the chat and interact with the chat rather than having to, you know, pop everybody's chat up here. Like, oh, that's oh, right. right. I really think that, you know, that will be a lot of content. A, a really rich piece of content for 30 minutes where people, you know, won't have to, you know, go past the chat. Well, you know, I mean, you've been telling me that for the longest and, and podcasts, that is a way to do it where you get the information without all the interruptions. Yes. Not that, it, you know, we love having people in, in the chat, but trying to read chats and, and you're talking about a subject and then you get off subject because of the chat. When you do the podcast, you're like, you're, you're focused on whatever that topic is. Yes. And I, I really like that idea. And, you know, it, it's support by numbers, right? So not only are you and I going to be in the chat, right? Obviously, let's just say you were my first guest. Not you. Not only you and I are going to be in the chat, right? We also have both all of our moderators to be in the chat, also talking to everybody and making sure things are going well along with us. You know, so that's why I think the whole podcast idea and the thought behind it, I really think that that is going to, it, it's really just going to take off. And I'm more going to do it where, and, and I'm only telling you that, the 25 of you, 27 of you that are here because you guys are the closest of my, <laughs> of my subs. But what I'm going to do is I'm really going to take you kind of like behind the scenes for creators. I haven't really, I have a couple names. I'm not going to release the names of the podcast, but I'm really going to dive more deep into the creators rather than, you know, Oh, Juan Strong, how did you start your channel? Why'd you start your channel? Like, that's all great. But there's so many interviews with Juan Strong out there on that topic. We're going to go a little bit deeper and we're going to go off off the rails, too. We're going to ask different questions. We're going to get behind the scenes with all of the different creators for a half an hour. And I think that that is really going to be uh, an enriching podcast. So that's that is uh, that is soon to come. Actually, Good. That's kind of why I was testing this day to see, you know, what kind of audience I would have show up at a 530 on a Monday. Because, you know, it's kind of, you know, tough <laughs> or 830 for some people. I know 830 for you are strong. Exactly. So, but yeah, no, we have a we have a great turnout. So uh, destination fun. Before we get into our topic, hello, hi everyone. Blanket, hello. She says she's Sherry. Oh, Ryan, yes. And now that I know that your dad is serious, uh, we will definitely get to uh, to talking seriously about this. Hopefully, maybe my parents too. Your aunt and uncle uh, will be able to go because I haven't been able to cruise with my parents in years, years. You got to make it happen. Uh, not Ricky again. I know that. I said I was hoping we were going to do this whole live without him. Uh, Carnival Cruise Addict says, Woohoo, Bill! Uh, Michelle uh, WPB says, Hey, Bill, glad to see you here and help ce celebrate Scott's birthday. Appreciate you. <laughs> Bring it, Captain Controversy. <laughs> I'm an Aries. Captain <laughs> Controversy. Sean, I am watching you. <laughs> oh, shit, bloody Ricky. <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, y'all haven't said too many hellos. I'm on another live. Good evening to, and good evening to everyone. Yes, yes, yes. Thank y'all. Uh, hello, CCA. Let's see. Okay. Oh, Shady Brady. Yes, Alaska bound again. Can I share that? Okay, I guess I'll share that. Bill, guess what? I'm going to Alaska again. When? <laughs> so I'm canceling the celebration cruise that I was going to go on yeah. in June, right after. Well, okay, I thought it was right after our cruise on the on the Margarita. I actually found out it was while we were on the Margarita, but that okay. wasn't reason why I'm canceling it because I didn't know that before. I am actually going to go to back to Alaska for an 11 day cruise on the Carnival Miracle. Wow. Okay. Yep. With Richard. And with uh, journeys with June and Brady and my aunt and my uncle. So nice. Yep, yep, yep. I, um, you know, yeah. I mean, again, you know, we we all love Alaska, so you guys are gonna have a great time. I love Alaska, and there's there's a few ports that we haven't been to. I'm excited to go back to the ones that I have been to, like Ketchikan. I want to go back to Ketchikan again. Yeah. June, I can't wait to go back to Juneau again. I'm gonna visit a special spot that I can't say on air right now, but I cannot wait to go back to Alaska. I was debating on whether to go to Alaska in May or whether to go on the celebration in June. And there's, 
I, I don't know why I was even debating on the celebration when I know I could go on the celebration at any point. And Alaska, right. not that you can't go to Alaska at any point, but with my aunt and uncle, with Richard, I mean, 11 days, we're going to be going to uh, a, two different ports that I've never been to. Icy Strait Point is one of them. Uh, and then the other port in um, in uh, British Columbia, that's not Victoria, whichever one that is. So how many cruises do you have for bo book for this year, Scott? Ooh. Oh, it's getting away from me, Warm Strong. I feel like you a little bit. Honestly, to tell you the truth, I didn't think it was that many until I started to think about it. Now I have that one. I have yours with you with the Margaritaville Islander. Uh, I have Clock's first leg, which I also just put a deposit down on too. Uh, and then at the end of the year, I have the uh, the booze cruise for 2.0 with Eddie nice. Hugo and uh, Journeys with June and Brady again. They're going to get to see me twice in the year, I guess. What? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, Michelle says, wow, that Alaskan cruise sounds wonderful. I know. I can't wait to go back. And uh, I love Alaska. I can't. I just hope Icy Strait Point is kind of like, um, oh, what uh, what port is that where you pull in the, the same, uh, not Icy Strait Point. What's the other one? Well, uh, Fjord. Um, like Tracy on Fjord. Yes. Tracy, yes. Yes. I hope it's the same because I took 45 minutes out there and I've told this story again over and over. But. I went out there for 45 minutes. I sat in one of those loungers and it was in through my nose, out through my mouth. And that Alaskan air, I mean, I wish I just had like a mask right here that just had Alaskan air there. Not, not the airplane. No, not Alaskan air. <laughs> Alaskan air from here. Like, oh, it was crisp. It, it, it does something to your insides that I can't even, I can't even explain it. Just, it right. makes you feel a different way. And man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Well, I love Tracy Arm Fjords. Um, when they when they nearly cut off the engines and it's just quiet and it's just so peaceful, I I, I mean I you, it, it's uh, it's um like you're in a different world. Yes, yeah, and and Shady Brady and myself actually got to go so close up to that fjord because it was so melted by the time we had gotten there. We went in, I believe, August, late August, so okay. it was the end of the season. And we were able to actually go closer. They said we're we're like 500 feet closer than we normally are because everything is so melted. So, right. I mean, it was it was amazing. Nice. Uh, and uh, Shady Brady says uh, you actually get off the ship in Icy Street Point. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know I that didn't either. Know. Uh, Journeys with June and Brady says when is the Islander? I want to go. Uh, it is going to be June 14th, I believe. Right. June 14th. Yes. It is part of a group cruise, uh, Edmonds, <clears throat> so a bunch of a bunch of partiers. Uh, definitely, definitely a bunch of partiers. But uh, I'm excited. Yeah, it, so, it's an inaugural cruise, also. So it'd be yes. the first time that uh, Margaritaville has put out this ship, the Islander. So yes. I, I think it's going to be to be one of the first. Now the ship is an older ship, but uh, to be one of the first, especially if you're a content creator, you love being one of the first. I agree, and. Uh, Covert family says Alaska is always a great cruise. So awesome. It really is. Always. It really is. I went one uh, last year by accident, I mean, by accident, but it was kind of by accident because my buddy was uh, serviced over there in or, or contracted, excuse me, on the Luminosa. And uh, I wanted to go and see him. I didn't know I wanted to go to Alaska. Or I didn't know <laughs> I needed to go to Alaska until I was there. And, you know, I was kind of upset, not upset, but I was just like, you know, we've always been to somewhere in the Caribbean or somewhere tropical, like, like Alaska. He's like, Hey, just come with an open mind. I said, okay. You know, that's how I travel. I travel with an open mind. I mean, second day I was just like, I love it. Here. Right. right. <laughs> Maybe not the Luminosa, but I mean, I was like, I love it here. yeah. And Luminosa, it, it still wasn't bad. And Luminosa, uh, they had the heated pool in the back of the ship, on the back of the ship where you can go out there and get in the heated pool in, in Alaska. So that was fun. Uh, and Eddie Lugo says, Scott is another clock into making with these bookings. I know, please don't. Ugh, I know. I, I was like, oh, I had two cruises this year. No, I got five. What yep. are you doing? You don't even have the time to take five cruises. What? Let me talk. Uh, I was thinking the same thing, Eddie. I know, I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we had ISP cruise booked in 2020. It looks awesome. It looks so awesome. It, it is awesome. Uh, Alaska cruise is a travel goal of mine in the future. Oh, you, you definitely have to get there. I, I mean, 
I, I'm kind of interested to see where I'm going in May versus where I went in August and the difference okay. in temperature, the difference in how I'm have to dress, the difference in the excursions that were offered. Um, because, for example, in Juneau, uh, uh, Shady Brady and myself, we wanted to go to uh, Men the Mendenhall Glacier. They're like, let's go to the Mendenhall Glacier. Everybody's going there, you know, or talking about it at least. I've seen some YouTube videos on it. And uh, I was like, uh, let's go to the Mendenhall Glacier. We went to the Mendenhall Glacier and uh, the Mendenhall Glacier booth. And they said, yeah, we're not doing the Mendenhall Glacier. We haven't been doing it for like a month. What do you mean you haven't been doing it for like a month? They said, well, it's actually a little bit too defrosted and we yeah. can't get close enough. So they've actually put a preserve on it and they've stopped all tours going to Mendenhall. But we could take you for a tour around the city for, you know, a cheaper price. Nah, um, nah, I no. We'll take our own tour around. The city. Okay, okay, no problem. But yeah, so there's there's different experiences offered in, in Alaska at different times. Mendenhall Glacier. I mean, if you've if you've been there before, you can literally see the ice melting, and it's getting further and further away from the lookout point. It it you it's something else. You get, <laughs> but you gotta go. You gotta get there. And if yeah. if you could only do one cruise in your lifetime, I would say cruise to Alaska, because yes. the tropical weather. You, you can go to Miami and and get tropical weather. You know, go to the beach. Go to if you 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 can't go too many places like Alaska. I agree. I agree. Uh, let's see. And yes, Eddie Lugo out of out of Tampa. Yes, correct. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was a great cruise uh, back to Alaska in, in August. Yes, it was. It really it really was. Uh, so yo yo addicts. Uh, CNS travel. Hello CNS travel. Okay. Uh, all right. So I know we started talking about Alaska and we veered off what uh, I wanted to talk about, but I did, I just wanted to ask you, and uh, for all of you that don't know, Warmstrong and myself, we actually have a cruise talk live segment or a cruise talk live show. This may be uh, useful later in the live show. We have a talk show called cruise talk live that we do every Wednesday uh, and uh, 4 p.m. right now, 4 p.m. PST, 7 p.m. EST. And we talk about different uh, subjects on cruising for new cruisers. We talk about bucket list cruises. We talk about trends coming up in 2024. We talk about all different types of things. So, Warm Strong, when I have something within the cruise news or something that pops up in the cruise world or something that just, you know, I want to hear an opinion about from somebody else who I know has about 50 cruises under their belt. You have I'm just as many. You have just as many, but okay. Hey, but the experience, uh, I, I like to talk to in that experience. So the most trending topic right now is going all over social media in the cruise world is the Freedom 5. I want to hear Warm Strong's opinion on the Freedom Fire. And was it a real fire? Did somebody start it? Was it lightning? <clears throat> was it Athena from, uh, from above? No, I, again, I believe it's a real fire. I believe something's wrong with the ship, whether from age or whatever. Uh, you, you're not going to have two fires in the same place. Uh, you know, I mean, there's no way you tell me it was lightning. Yeah, you're not that lucky. Oh, we here's here's a, a you know well tail that got was caught on fire and uh, uh, a year later hit by lightning in the same. No, nah, no, there's something wrong. Take it out of service, which they did. Find out what's wrong. Because apparently there is something, something's overheating somewhere. I'm not a heating and cooling guy. Something's overheating somewhere. <laughs> and I, I don't know, people, I don't know if you know it or not. Um, these ships, I, I mean, some of the temperatures that, that some of the equipment that they have on the ship to just imagine trying to heat water for, for you know, 3,000 cabins and just think about the temperatures and, and, the pressure that some of those, I mean, and we're going to, that's, it's another story out there, Scott, but, but the pressure that some of these things are on. So, um, yeah, no, it was, it was, there's something wrong. I, my belief, Carnival, if you're listening, my belief, something's wrong. It's a little bit older of a ship, you know, and, and, and now, like we've said in our past shows, they're trying to cram as many people plus more, as many people plus more on all of these ships, right? Obviously, that's not what caused the fire in the wing. However, right, it puts stress on a vessel when you have to carry more cargo, more people, right? So 
Is that what started the, the whale tail fire? No. But fact is, they are literally cramming these cruise ships to where it's like a sardine can. I mean, they, they'll put four in a room. They'll put six. On, they'll, put, they'll put as many as you want in that room. If you give them money, they'll do it. I promise you. And they want to because they want all of the people to come on the crew, become cruisers, right? And get in this, this, this cruising circle that we're kind of all in. However, right? It's an older ship. They just, they just put a new tail on it like two years ago. And for me, to be honest with you, when I saw all these, these resurfacing, <laughs> I thought somebody was reposting. That was my right, first thought. Right. Right. Yeah, I did too. This is old news, bro. This is like $2,000. What are you talking about? And I was like, oh, hey, no, wait. Is that, is that today's date? It's on fire again? I was like, no way. And then I went to uh, Funnelheads. He was actually going live or he was doing something. And I clicked on it because it was like live. And I was like, it's on fire again. And it was on fire. Like, he, I mean, he had a really good view from like his balcony. He had like, the whale tail like right there so it was like on fire and i was just like this is live like this is literally live and I, I mean i couldn't believe it until i saw it and they need to rebrand that ship at this point they really did oops hold on one second and eddie lugo studio said i'm saying the same thing bill i know they are just they're i don't i really don't know what to make of the fire i know for me I'm not going on the freedom. I had no plans to go on the freedom anyway. So it wasn't like I wasn't going to go on the freedom. If I was going to go on any smaller ship, the ship, the smaller ships that have my heart are the Carnival Dream and the Carnival Elation because I love, well, they don't go out of here anymore, but I've spent a lot of time in New Orleans and I will continue to go back to New Orleans because New Orleans has my heart. And I met the dream in New Orleans. I met the elation in New Orleans. And I just, I love New Orleans and I love the Carnival Dream. So, I mean, if, if I'm going to go on a smaller ship, I'm going on the drink or I'm going on the elation. I'm going on the drink. So, but not the free. You muted yourself, Bill. Bill, you muted yourself. Sorry about that. Um, I'm, I'm good now. I had kicked the plug out for the light. So, that's why you saw me go, ah. But uh, some, some of the older ships, I, I like the older ships. And I know Eddie Lugo has one going on the uh, Paradise. And yes. Paradise, I, I really, Paradise, I really enjoyed it. Back when I uh, went on it, they had uh, Lily was the cruise director, and I really enjoyed it. And as I get older, you know, I think we talked about this before, or I talked about this with somebody before, you know, I don't do, I don't do the rock climbing as much. I don't do the flow rider as much. I don't do all that. Um, and I just want someplace to go and relax. If you chocolate yeah. martinis, you're on that flow ride. Nah. You're like, hey. um, but a, but a ship like you know, like the Paradise. I, I mean, again, you put me there any day. I mean, I, I I'd like that. Um, the the problem you have is it's it's not it's that particular ship, the Freedom and the Well Tail. It's the Vista and the propulsion issues. See, it's not it's not that class of ship. It's like that particular ship. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I really do. Uh, Elisa comes in and says, hey, Scott, happy birthday. Thank you, Elisa. One of my favorite lives is that Monday mood check that was right before uh, right before this live. I'm, I'm so glad I didn't schedule this live over the mood check. I would have been so upset. Oh, so bad. Uh, Chris Kobaleski, uh, Carnival Cruise Addict, says happy birthday. Coming in on the personal side. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. All right. So I don't, I don't know about that whale tail bill. I, th I think personally, I think it's there's there's it, there's something fishy going on. So I I didn't really know what to make of it. I really thought it was fake and fabricated at first, um, and and now as I'm hearing more and more things, I hate to really say it, but I really think Carnival's trying to cover some things up. Well, they're 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 trying to fix it. They they thought oh. they had fixed it. They they thought they had fixed it. <laughs> what what whatever whatever is making it overheat. Yes, it, it's it's making it too hot up that funnel, and what, whatever they did, they thought they had it fixed. Obviously, they didn't. No, they definitely did not. They definitely did. But hopefully, now I think they have, uh, which is wild to me because if I was the next one to go on the Freedom and this happened to me, I would be so upset. They canceled, I believe, the next sailing, and the sailing after that yep, too. on. Oh, <laughs> 
if I would have waited for my cruise to go on the Carnival of Freedom, because I mean, I know, I you know, I know a lot of people pay a lot of money to go on cruises, and uh, and and I got canceled like that because the whale tail went on fire. Oh, yeah. I would not have been a happy cruiser. Uh, let me just tell you that. So, yes, and uh, refill. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. All right. Me and my wa my water. Your water. <laughs> All right, Bill. So, uh, in uh, in closing here, uh, and uh, I know Eddie Lugo Studios, uh, you are in the chat. I know we had uh, said that you were going to come up third, but I am actually going to push you fourth because I see somebody that is in the basement right now that is a special guest that I had asked to come on but wasn't sure if they could. So, I am going to put them third, and Eddie, you are going to be fourth. So, in closing for Mr. Bill, do you have anything that you would like to uh, to say before uh, we let you go here? No, I mean, just happy birthday to you and everybody come tune in uh, Cruise Talk Live Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, we'll continue this party then. That's right. We will. I can't I can't wait. We'll keep our topic secret. Um yeah, we'll keep our topic this week secret. So keep in uh, keep in touch for our both of our thumbnails that go up uh, shortly here. Hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, Bill, for uh, for right. coming in. Yeah. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your night, Scott. Birthday. Thank you very much, Bill. I will see you soon, my friend. Bye bye. Bye. Woohoo! This is awesome. I feel like I'm like bar hopping. This is great. Like going from like creator to creator to creator. And like all you guys are still hanging out. I mean, come on. I'm on my third drink already. It's my birthday. Okay. So I'm going to throw a wrench in the mix right now. I'm going to throw a little wrench in the mix and we're going to have a little bit of fun. So we are going to give away. We're going to give away a. Uh, a $16 Amazon gift card. Okay, we're gonna give away a $16 Amazon gift card, but we are going to do it in a very fun way. Okay, uh, I am going to bring up my very next guest. And uh, this is a guest that, uh, if I miss their live, let me just tell you, if I miss their live on Saturday, which I don't, I'll tell you right now, I don't. But if for some reason I do, I make sure that I am in that chat on Friday blowing up that chat and making sure everybody knows that I am there because I don't miss this live. It is uh, definitely one of the first creators that I connected with, probably because I love New Orleans, like I said so much. And uh, I came across these crazy, crazy, crazy Louisianians from uh, New Orleans. Well, not from New Orleans, but uh, some of you may know but I am going to ask you right now, do you guys know who the hell the Traveling Gilberts are? Who the hell are the Traveling Gilberts? Because right now I have Ronnie Gilbert with me. Hello, What's my up, friend. Scott? How are Happy you? Happy birthday, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you for uh, for coming up and, uh, and uh, enjoying my birthday with me and celebrating just a little. Well, hopefully we're coming through. Man, we have got a big storm going right now, and hopefully the Wi-Fi will hang on, hopefully. Yes, I know Teresa said that, so I hope you guys uh, stay safe. And, uh, yes, uh, I appreciate you guys for coming on here, uh, even with the uh, with the spotty Wi-Fi, which, which you guys are fine now. So yeah. I was telling everybody before this how much I absolutely love your guys' live. Um, I found you guys when I first started my channel a year ago, or a year ago, actually, to this week i started my youtube uh and i found you guys i don't i wasn't even going out of new orleans to tell you the truth i just watched a bunch of new orleans content and cruising content and all of a sudden i came across travel <laughs> and it took me one live on a saturday to get hooked i mean like i said if i miss one of your guys's lives on saturday i really feel like a part of me is missing i mean i always go back and watch it on the replay you know that i blow up the comment section but I, I really, really do love your guys. Well, we we appreciate it. You always there for us, we and we recognize it. I mean, we're not a huge channel, and uh, we have a few people that come in and come and go and that kind of thing. But you're always there, and uh, like I said, we really do appreciate it, man. Uh, can't wait to cruise with you. I mean, you were talking yes. about the dream while ago. I got the dream yes. next weekend. Next oh, weekend out of Galveston. That's right. Out of Galveston, me April sixth. That's right. That's the family cruise, right? You're you're taking no, the no, family. No, no, that's just me and Teresa. 
I'm it's just, her first platinum cruise. So it'll be fun. Yeah, we'll go on the dream though again. I love the dream. I know you oh, guys yeah. love the dream too. I know it was uh, there. It's our favorite ship. It's the only time. ship we've repeated. The only ship, really? The only ship. How many yeah. times have you been on the Carnival Dream? This will be the third. This will okay. be the third. Okay. Yeah. I think if I go on my next time, I think will be my seventh or eighth on the dream. Awesome. Awesome. I love that ship. It's it's our favorite ship. And we've done the big three. I mean, we did the Mardi Gras. We did the celebration. We did the Jubilee. Uh, it still boils down to the dream. The dream's just the best for us. It is just, it's great. I agree. You can walk the ship in about 10 minutes. You know where everything is. And yep. I spent a lot of time on that ship due to my buddy being contracted on that ship years and years, contract after contract. I mean, he loved New Orleans too. I mean, he loved the people. Right. He loved the atmosphere. He loved the people that he worked with. A lot of the people that got sent to the dream right. ship and the relationship, as you know, are fun bartenders. Oh, They're yeah. fun. Yeah, like, I mean, they just they send like the most fun people to the New Orleans Carnival cruise ships. And uh, I, I was able to go there, I think, four or five years in a row and years for them. I think they have two at least two contracts within a year. So that's awesome. awesome. It was amazing. And we're, right. and we're talking about maybe announcing a little New Orleans get together next year. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned this weekend because we got a little, maybe a little Gilbert meetup. Oh, that, oh, I already, I already said I'm going to that. There's, there's no, <laughs> I mean, I'll book a cruise before I'm gone. I'm, book me, I will be in New Orleans. I got enough friends. We, in New would, Orleans. Love, we would love to see. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I gotta get one of the. I gotta get one of the famous Gilbert videos. Down Bourbon Street, that everybody oh, absolutely has. the dancing down Bourbon. That's right. You have to do it. <laughs> uh, that's so awesome. Okay, let's see. Um, so Elisa says, "Wait, so we don't think it was lightning?" I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's. Uh, I know. Poor freedom. Poor freedom. Uh, Danny D says, uh, uh, "Oh, Amazon gift cards. I'm trying to get Beach F uh, Fit Pro earbuds. I don't know what color." Huh? Stay tuned because we're about to give away that $16 gift card. Uh, Carnival Cruise Addict says, oh, my God, woohoo, Ronnie. What's up, guys? What's up? We said, hey, Gilbert. Hey, June and Brady. How y'all? June and Brady. Shady Brady says, who, who the, the hell? hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'll so tell you, that got started a while back, right <laughs> when we was actually getting uh, – just coming along, actually. And then I was like, you know, nobody knows who the hell we are like that. And it just <laughs> saw Artie one time. Artie was in New Orleans with us. And he went, he walked up to this random lady who was really, really loud on the riverboat. We took the brunch uh, cruise. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he asked her, he said, ma'am, would you mind saying who the hell are the traveling Gilberts? And buddy, she busted it out. And we've gotten just about every creator we we could possibly imagine to give us one. We, of course, we invite everybody to send one. But I mean, from you know Tony and Jenny and and uh, you just you name them. You know, um, they've all done it. You know, and you should have heard. Them. You should have heard what my mom said when I was like, "Hey, mom, I, I need you to do this this YouTube video with me." She's like, I'm not going to get on your YouTube. I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, I just need you to piece this together with me. She's like, what do you mean? I said, I need to send this video to one of my YouTube friends. And she's like, okay, well, tell me what to say. I said, okay, well, here's the thing. I was like, I'm going to say, you know, Ma, I have to go. And she's like, okay. And then I have, then I know she, my mom, she showed a lot of emotion. So I, I was like, Mom, you have to say, well, where are you going? And I'm going to say, well, the traveling Gilberts are on. And then I need you to come in. And I need you to give me the best. Who the hell are the traveling Gilberts? And <laughs> mom did it in one shot. I will tell you, I did not have to ask mom to re-record that. She did that in one shot. That's I have awesome. shown her, and this is what she tells me. She goes, oh, my God, my hair looks like hell in that, pit, in that video. <laughs> my God, you did it in one shot. You're, you're a star. What do you mean? She's like, oh, oh, you sent that? Oh, my God, I look, oh, I look horrible. I'm like, mom. Believe me, no one's. You did great. You did great, and I know I saw that on this. this Absolutely. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I have a ton of them. I try to mix them up every once in a while to throw some out I hadn't seen in quite a while, you know, and try to bring them up and say, eh, "Let's check this out." You know, that's, yep. that's a lot of fun for us. 
uh, says, uh, the dream is my favorite too, says Uncle Dave. Well, yes, Uncle Dave. Dave. I yeah, know I love you are from Louisiana it. too, as well. So, uh, M74, happy birthday, Scott. Happy, happy birthday. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, Uncle Dave, I know I meant to go uh, and click this before when uh, Warmstrong and I were talking. I know you had said something about those Alaska patches when we were talking about Alaska. I carry, just so you know, Uncle Dave, I carry one in my backpack, the red one you gave me, in my backpack at all times. And then the green one, the navy, uh, the, uh, the the lime green, not the lime green one, the uh, desert green one is actually back here on uh, on my shelf. So I love Alaska. And uh, it is there, it's always with me. So just so you know. Uh, Will G has come in. I like the breeze better. Ooh, I do like the breeze. Oh, you know, hey. I don't think I never went on the breeze. Breeze and what is it? The horizon, all them. Uh, great ships. Great ships. You don't look drunk enough. I know. Well, I have to. I have to <laughs> I'm like, here, Marjorie, <laughs> and welcome in. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So uh, shots for Scott. No, 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 no. What we are going to do, uh, we are going to give away uh, this uh, $16 Amazon gift card. Now, what I have composed, and since I have such a fun co-host up here with me, <laughs> normally I would have done this segment maybe with Jimmy, since it's going to be trivia, and you guys know that I do Thirsty Thursday trivia right. every single Thursday. However, the Traveling Gilberts were a winner of the month-long Thirsty Thursday trivia. So we they, every Thursday... We come up here, we do some trivia, we do about two trivias, and I have a, uh, I have a bowl. A, uh, it's actually a Margaritaville at sea um, plastic tumbler blender glass. Blender, yeah. And your name, if you win the trivia, gets put in that. And at the end of the month, I go into that tumbler, and I grab a name, and you could win a $20 gift card just for showing up. And you do not even have to be present at the live, the very last live. Because I know most of you, and all I do is just say, "Hey, Ron, you want a twenty dollars gift card for Thirsty Thursday?" And oh yeah, I remember when I when I won that week. Yeah, boom, sent, <laughs> just like that, and done. So uh, well, we went right into the gadget fund. Yeah, a little gadget. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> it was a twenty dollars gift card. Uh, happy birthday, fellow Scott. Hello, uh, Scott. Hey, Scott Smith. Appreciate you. Okay, so here's what we are going to do. I am going to do this. Let's play a little trivia. Ooh, thanks. Hey. So just like we run the Thirsty Thursday trivia, however, this is going to be a much, much quicker. We only have five questions, and these questions are all about Universe Truly, Universal Cruising. Now, I may have given some of these away in the chat. So when I ask the question, if you are one of the first three people in, you are going to get a point. And at the end of the game, if you are very first place, you are going to get a $16 Amazon gift card to your email. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. So let's start the game. The very first question. Okay. Very first question for you guys is name one of my live shows during the week. Full title, subject. I don't need the subject because I'm, I think it's subject. But one of my live shows, the actual name of the live shows, there's three of them currently that I have set every single week. Every single <laughs> week. Yeah. I'll, 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 you want to know it? I'll even give you guys a Okay, that's all you get. That's, all you get. <laughs> that's a new one. That's a new one. All right, let's see what we got here. This is trivia. Okay, let's see what we got here. We have from Alice Lugo, Thirsty Thursday. That's correct. Thirsty Thursday trivia. We have the match game. That's right, the new Friday edition that I just started. That is correct. Uh, Thirsty Thursday Trivia, that is correct, Shady Brady. Thirsty Thursday says Scott Smith, that is correct. Thirsty Thursday Trivia, 
the brand new match game. That is correct. Uh, Uncle Dave says Thirsty Thursday. And hello, CNS Travel, if I didn't say hello before. Uh, Danny D says Thirsty Thursday. Uh, no, that's actually to come, Sean. Chicka wow. I haven't started that. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty Thursday <laughs> trivia. And uh, Sean says, who the freaking the hell are the Traveling Gilberts? Oh, you kind of got to put that accent on it. You know he ain't saying it like that. <laughs> Good day, <laughs> Ronnie. Good job, guys. So Alice Lugo Studios gets a point. Uh, CCA Carnival Cruise Addicts gets a point. And Shady Brady gets a point. So great job. That's a great job. Okay. Get ready for question number two because these are going to come faster than Thursday's Thursday trivia. So number two. What is my favorite carnival ship? Oh, I just said it. I just said it. I have the same favorite ship as Traveling Gilberts, which I already knew. Mm -hmm. What is my favorite carnival ship? Past or present? Even if it's not sailing anymore. Because I know there's a few that are sailing. Not sailing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like my very first ship, actually, the Carnival Imagination, which is not sailing anymore. So, but here's a clue it's not the imagination. <laughs> Shady Brady says the dream. June and Brady uh, apparently, I guess, wasn't here before for our conversation. She says the Vista. Alice Lugo says the dream. Danny D says carnival. Well, you're not wrong on that. Hey. Will G says the dream. Carnival Cruise Addict says the Vista. Sienna says the dream. Carnival Cruise Addict says dream. Uh, Scrosnet says dream. Danny D says Dean next to the principal. <laughs> Down Under Cruiser says the one you're sailing on I'm not sailing on anyone right now I wish I was Danny D says the dream and Uncle Dave says the dream So you are absolutely correct Shady Brady gets a point Alice Lugo Studios again gets a point and Will G makes his way to the board great job guys great job okay Still, anybody's uh, anybody's game. We got three questions left, and maybe a bonus. Okay, here's a true or false question. So get your fingers ready. True or false? I have cruised to Alaska. True or false? I have cruised before to Alaska. Mm. And we'll, we'll also tell you that I am cruising mm. to Alaska in May. But have I cruised to Alaska? True or false? And yes, for the sake of time, I will take the letter T. Because true takes longer to type than T, so I totally get that. <laughs> <laughs> Have I sailed to Alaska? That is true. Oh, Will he says true. Uh, yes, uh, tired or tried. Tried. Starts with a T. T. True. True. Uh, Carnival Cruise Addicts, you were a, a guest and you, you were here for the entire life. And we were. Okay, never mind. CNS Travel says false. Scrove's Nest says true. Scott Smith says true. Journey for June and Brady says true. And the Down Under Cruiser said true. If you said true, you are absolutely correct. I have. August 2023 on the Carnival Luminosa. Alice Lugo Studio gets a point. Uh, Will G gets a point. Shade. We're going to give June and Brady a point because I know exactly what she was trying to get. And Scott even said, I would take the letter T. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Ooh, are you guys ready for this one? You guys might or might not know this one. I flashed this in a bunch of videos. That's for, that's for sure. And I may have to make sure my name wasn't on it. But what status do I hold with Carnival? What steps? I think I know. I think I know. I'll give you guys a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Do not put this one. I will give you a clue. <laughs> what status do I hold with Carnival currently? Uh, Jenny's with June and Brady says platinum. Alice Lugos says diamond. Will G says platinum. 
Carnival Cruise Addict says platinum. Danny Bruni says platinum. Down under Cruiser says Captain. <laughs> no, <Yeah. laughs> I think you missed the P, Sean. I think you missed the P. Uh, Gold says Uncle Dave. Gold says Scrolls Next. Diamond says Michael Ann. Palating, which I'm going to do after this live because I'm starving. Platinum. She, she missed platinum. <laughs> and Gold says see in this trouble. I am platinum. Good job for anybody who said platinum. Journeys with June and Brady said platinum first. Uh, Will G came in with Platinum. Uh, and Carnival Cruise Addicts came in with Platinum. Okay. Awesome, awesome job. All right. You guys ready for the last question? Well, the last regular regulation question. I might give you a bonus question since you guys know I love bonus questions. But, uh, okay. Number five. Last one. What is the last ship I was on? Hint, it comes from my last vlogs that were actually put out in time succession. Because sometimes I know some people go on cruises like two years ago and then they just put them out in 2024. And you're like, okay, was he just in Coco K or was he in Alaska or was he, where was he? No, but the series I just put out was where I was last on the very last cruise ship. So what cruise ship was that? Let's see. Let's see. It was a big one. I'll tell you that. Um, Did you love it? I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I loved it. I love. Well, first of all, I loved how big it was, but I also loved how you never felt like it was too crowded. You know, you right. could go to yeah. different places and different spaces and still feel like you had enough room to watch live music or, you know, get a drink or, you know, where somebody wasn't like rubbing elbows and, you know, rubbing arms against you like, Hey man, you know, oh, sorry, sorry. You know, I, I never once felt like that. And the, the 60, 100 or 6,200 people, you yeah. know, we weren't sold out completely, but we were almost sold out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I, I loved it. And, and all of the different act, the different bars and the different things that they put in, I had never went on an XL class ship. So oh, really? that's why I was almost like, Oh, this is new. If I go on a celebration or Mardi Gras, I think I'm going to be like, oh, this is kind of like the Jubilee. You know, kind of like take that one step back, but still dream holds my heart. Doesn't matter. Right. Give me a bigger ship than that. I'm still going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> Will G says the Jub. Gina Brady says Jubilee. Uh, Carnival Cruise Addict says Jubilee. Uh, Scott Smith says Celebration. Uh, Jubilee. Uh, we got the Jubilee. We got Carnival Song one that sails on the sea that is, I, I hope it doesn't sail on the bay. <laughs> LOL, Sean. Yes, it was the Carnival Jubilee with uh, Miss Kendall Fire. So Shady Brady gets a point. Good job, Shady Brady. Uh, Will G gets a point. Uh, good job, Will G. And June and Barry get a point. Okay. Great job. Okay. So we have a clear-cut definitive winner. However, I am going to give you one of probably the hardest questions that is on this entire roster. There's only seven of them. <laughs> this is going to be worth three points. I'm going to give you three points. Yes, three points. So the first three people that come in will get this. Okay? So get your fingers ready. This is the last bonus question. Bonus question worth Three points for my birthday. Now, if you know me, I don't like many desserts. I don't like a lot of desserts at all. But this is my favorite dessert, whether we are at sea or whether I am at land. And if you put it in front of me, I will eat it every single time. I have said it on multiple lives. It's actually not around too much on cruise ships anymore. It is. You can find it. It's like fake version of it. And I'll still take it. I will still take it. But... This dessert has my entire heart, and I will eat it any time of the day. It doesn't matter. Mostly on a cruise ship. That's exactly where I found it, on a cruise ship. So three points for uh, the first three people. And honestly, mm. I think there's only maybe even going to be one or two people that get it. So, And it is a dessert. That, uh, let's just, I'll, I'll give you guys a hint. It's, a, it's definitely a dessert that was popular in the 2000s. Early 90s, I mean, late 90s for sure when I was a kid. Uh, I loved it. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, 
It was fire. It was fire. That's your second clip. If it's what I'm thinking, they make a great one at Antoine's. Mm. I might even just mm. take the first person who says it. Says it. Oh, man. It's, uh, I'll give you a clue, guys. It's not cheesecake. It's not cheesecake. Oh, man. Mm -mm. A cheesecake in New York City. Juniors. Who? Forget about that. Mm, no. Shady Brady Skittles isn't a dessert. <laughs> Maybe for you. Actually, you want to know what it is for you because we went to Alaska and he's like, oh, I'm hungry. I got to go get a little something to eat. He comes out with Reese's peanut butter and a freaking pop. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess that is a dessert for Shady Brady. Uh, butter? Uh, nope. Ah, Palombia? Nope. Tiramisu? That's my second favorite. Oh, my God. That's my second favorite. Second favorite. Oh, we got it. We got it. I am only, oh yeah, we got three, we got three. CNS Travel comes in with Baked Alaska. I love Baked Alaska. Uh, Michelle WPB, Michelle three, good job. Second favorite, Alice Lugo, second favorite. And Baked Alaska with Michael and uh, Okay. So luckily the first place winner didn't lose their spot with that. <laughs> right. would have been a little dicey <laughs> but uh, drum roll for the winner and the winner of the 16 dollar amazon gift card you either send me your amazon email in the chat or you uh, send it to controversial cruising at gmail.com but will g my friend you have won the 16 dollar amazon gift card Awesome, I am going to circle this so I don't forget it. Because <laughs> it's on the winner. Okay. And even if not, I uh, I will get in touch with you. Even if you are not still in the chat, Will G, uh, thank you for playing along. And you will get a $16 gift card, uh, Amazon gift card, delivered to your wallet. So uh, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, for playing along. I have, uh, I have another giveaway. I have one more guest, and then I have another giveaway. But uh, Ronnie. I, this was, I mean, this was such a birthday surprise. I had yeah. no idea that you were going to show up. I know I had talked to Teresa before that you guys were having some weather, that you guys really wanted to come up, but, you know, you didn't know if you were going to have the internet for yeah, it. Yeah, I was wild. I was probably just, uh, we were just, wasn't sure. We wasn't sure. And when I saw you pop up in the basement, man, I just, I, I, I lit up inside. I lit up inside. In my lair. <laughs> in your lair. No orbs, though. We didn't see any orbs, so we'll save the orbs. No, no, no. I didn't see any. Uh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? <laughs> uh, Buddy, well, I'll, I'll tell you, you. It, uh, it's been a pleasure. It's always a pleasure. Uh, we can't wait to see you in person. And uh, yes. happy, happy birthday, my friend. Thank you very much. And thank you for spending some time with me uh, on my birthday, too, as well. It means means so much to me. Well, we appreciate you, man. We yep. appreciate it. Yep. Love you. We will. Uh, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you in your live on uh, on Saturday too. You uh, want to tell us? We'll be there. Uh, we'll be there. Time last, is too. last live before the cruise. So uh, yeah. Be so there. We'll what time? What time can we can we catch the traveling Gilbert on Saturday? Ooh, we'll catch him at seven uh, p.m. Central Time. Seven p.m. Central Time. And I'll be there. So All right, thank you guys so much again. I appreciate you, and uh, thanks for spending a little time on my birthday. No problem, my friend. You have a good one. You too. Bye. Woo, this has been a birthday celebration. I wish I had some baked Alaska. I don't have any baked Alaska. But what I do have for you, and I know this live has gone longer than I wanted to, but I knew it was going to because it's my birthday. So I have one more creator, one more friend to bring up here in front of all of you. So I am going to bring up this uh, this creator who I like to watch his quickies in the morning. A lot of you might know him, might love him just like I do. But without further ado, I am going to bring up to the stage, Mr. Eddie Lugo Studio. There he is. <laughs> Woo! Mm. 
How many, how many uh, sex on the beach have you had so far? Uh, <laughs> this is like my third, you know. I'm like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, yeah. that's good though. That's the Scott good. tea. That's right, the Scott tea. I created my own drink. Right. <laughs> uh, Sean, said, like that. Sean said, rigged, recount. I don't know the answers. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I I tried to stay away from it. So, okay. So, Will G, it's interesting that you said that. Okay, the yes, one hundred and ten percent, Sean. You see this right now. I was actually going to make this prize for Helping Hands for Cruising. I was I was so set on making the donation towards Helping Hands for Cruising. However, I know that that is where my heart is. I didn't know if that was going to incentivize enough people to actually want to play in the trivia so look at will g he says can you donate the 16 dollars to helping hands for cruising well sean we definitely definitely 110 percent can donate this 16 dollars on behalf of will g and you will get that in paypal sean and it will have a note on it that says from will g because it is not from me it is from will g so uh thank you will g uh helping hands for cruising Thank you for being willing to do that and uh, give up your uh, your sixteen dollars Amazon gift card for such a better, better cause. And uh, yes, uh, everybody's congratulating. Congratulations, congratulations, yes, 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 congratulations, Will G. Uh, let's see. And yes, Michael and Anya, yes, it is. It is very, very generous. Very, very generous. Um, very nice. Yes. <laughs> Danny Dees. Oh no, it's troublemaker Eddie. <laughs> Will G says, Eddie! <laughs> Yay, <Google! laughs> I wonder who that is. Mm. I wonder who that is. Uh, Journeys with Junior Brady says, Eddie! Eddie! <laughs> That's right. It is. It is. This morning it was my 66th birthday, but now it's my 36th. Oh, 122. And 122. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Yes, thank you very much. Warm, strong, appreciate you. Okay, let's see. I just want to make sure I'm down here. And Sean says, thank you so much, Will G. I really appreciate all the help. And 110%. Danny D says, Helping Hands for Cruising is an amazing, amazing charity. I'm proud to be one of the winners of the Pat Famazzo Award. And yes, 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 yes. 110%, Danny D. Uh, like you said, that is an amazing charity. Uh, there's a bunch of group cruises, too. So make sure that you link up with the uh, Helping Hands for Cruising uh, Facebook group. And uh, and get on some of those group cruises because I mean I'm I just signed up for the rock and roll cruise. I don't know about you, Eddie, but I am going on that rock and roll cruise. There is no way I am not going to be with a drink in my hands watching all of those rock and roll performers perform. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Uh -uh. Take my money. Take it right now. Just take it off. Take it off. Take, take it. Off. <laughs> uh, and Michael Ann says yes. It is my daughter's law. Daughter in law's birthday today, too. Well, happy nice. birthday to her, too. Daughter in law. Very yes. nice. Uh, Danny D says, Happy birthday to your daughter in law as well. Okay, so, Eddie, I figured we could have some fun for the last 10 ish minutes here. I am going to end, well, not end the live, but I, this, the last segment, we are going to give away a $21 Amazon gift card. You guys can take the Amazon gift card. It is okay. But if you add 21 plus 16, it equals 36. Now, I couldn't give away $66. So I'm sorry, Kenny, even though you thought I was 66 this morning, I'm really 36. So if you add 21 and you add 16 together, it gives you 37, which is one extra for good luck. So, and I can't do math. We, we call it a nyapa. So <laughs> what we are going to do it's going to be super easy. It's going to be super, super easy. I am going to bring up this right here. Guess what? Right now, it is completely blank. Okay? So, if you want a chance to win this $21 Amazon gift card, I would like you to put into the chat right now, hashtag DC for controversial cruising. 
I will slowly go down the chat with Eddie Lugo and we will make sure everybody gets on this wheel and then we are going to spin it. And whoever it lands on, you're going to get $21 delivered to you. Don't feel like you have to do the same thing that Will G did. You can take the Amazon gift card. It is okay. I promise you. However, if you would like to, I know Sean would be more than happy. I know Helping Hands for Cruising would be more than happy. And uh, again, that is one of the charities that has my heart um, because not only uh, does it send those who are less fortunate than your yourself, myself, even Eddie, right, on cruises that are not able to go themselves for one reason or another, whether it's money, whether they're disabled, right? And that is what we're all here for, to share that uh, share that blessing of cruising with everybody. So, um, okay, so let's start this off here. We got uh, CCA. Let's just put CCA. Okay. CCA, you're on there all by yourself. Look at you. Uh, Michael Ann comes in next. Oh, I got Michael Ann comes in next. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's see. We have Mr. Bill. Bill W. Uh, who else? Oh, Cruise Life TV. Hello, Cruise Life oh, TV. Cruise <laughs> Life TV. Okay. Cruise Life TV. Who else do we have? Oh, the most spectacular supporter ever, Danny D. Trouble. Trouble, Danny. <laughs> CNS Travel. We're just going to put CNS. I don't think there's another CNS in here. Okay, Mr. Brady. We're just going to put on Brady. Brandy, I just changed. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost became man. <laughs> <laughs> did we put Will G up there? No, we did not. That was from before. Will G. Job. Oh, the traveling Gilberts. So let's just put the whoops, the Gilbs. The Gilbs. The Gilbs. The Gilbs. Uh, June and June. Whoa. And June. All these names are. I I I missed uh, meeting Ronnie and uh, back with the uh, with the bloggers because uh, they were not in town. And uh, I mean, oh, they came in Friday and I saw Saturday. I know. Last time I was down in uh, New Orleans too, I had just missed them as well. They were uh, the day that I was getting on the cruise. They were uh, they were both working. I was like, no, <laughs> no. They even came in the day before. Hey, Sean, I should have just put ducks. Okay. Nazuma. Whoa. Okay. Who else? Oh, the other fellow, Scott, Mr. Scott Smith. Scott Smith. Okay. Scott Smith. I can't empty you again, Chris. I'm, sh I'm Sherry. All right. Hashtag, hashtag CC if you want one last chance What's this at here? this $21 gift oh, card. Alice Lugo. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, Team Reese Travels. Team Reese. Reese's Pieces. Uh, hello, Team Reese Travels. Thank you for coming in and celebrating the, my birthday with me. Roxanne. Uh, Roxanne, sure. Hashtag what? Why not? I'll just put you in. Sure. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah, she meant well. <laughs> Got Michelle there? there? You're up there. You're under Uncle Brady. I didn't put you as Shady Brady. I put you as Uncle Brady. You're up there. Let's see. Okay. Da, 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 da. How about oh, Michelle? Michelle. M wants her name out. Okay, M. All right. No, EM is uh, Emily. Yeah. Okay. And let me see. Do I have Cruise Life TV? Uh, yes, I have Cruise Life TV. I can't do that. Okay. I'll give you guys 10 more seconds. 
10 more seconds. Anybody who wants to get in this last second, hashtag CC to be entered for a $21 Amazon gift call. You have uh, uh, Jeremy here too. Jeremy for, uh, Foreno. Hello, Jeremy. He said, what you doing? We are celebrating my birthday. Just the end of my birthday, my friend. Yeah. You got some guy, uh, some guy there, controversial cruising also. I don't know if you got him. <laughs> That guy can't win. That guy can't win. Captain Controversy. He said, I hope you I hope you folks can come need need a Ronnie hug or a handshake. I know I do too. I do too. Okay. So let's give this away. Thank you very much, Jeremy. I appreciate you. Okay, $21 gift card. Here we go. CNS Travel! Bada bing boom boom. Great job, CNS. Let me stop sharing this. Awesome job, CNS. I am going to put my on controversial skill cruising at gmail.com. Congratulations, CNS Travel. Uh, please make sure to get in contact with me for controversial cruising at gmail.com. Or uh, you can drop your Amazon email in the chat right now if you would like to. Or just send it to me on the side. Um, and yeah, congratulations. Congratulations on winning. And everybody is uh, also saying way to go uh, CNS. Congratulations CNS Travel. Congratulations CNS. Congratulations. Congratulations CNS. Look at that. Bam. Just like that. We <laughs> have got down to the end of the chat. And uh yeah, I mean this was you couldn't have asked me how I wanted to spend a better birthday. This was how I wanted to spend my birthday. This hour, mm -hmm. hour and a half that you guys decided to come up and, and spend with me, I mean, means more than I could even imagine. Um and again, all of my guests past guests that I've had on here. Thank you so much for coming up here. Uh, Eddie, uh, in closing, do you have anything uh, that you would like to uh, tell the people? Well, I, I want to let them know that, uh, like you're saying, uh, I am going to be in the uh, Rock and Roll Trivia uh, concert also, which is uh, uh, a <laughs> definitely a uh, uh, sponsorship for uh, HH4C. So it should be a great, uh, great uh, help for them. Uh, me and Mike, we've been doing a lot of promo on our channels, and uh, uh, every every chance I get to get something, I go ahead and, and share it with other uh, groups and channels also. So we're we're pushing that out there. It's uh, uh, over a quarter of the cruises already sold, so we still going and still got a. It's a long, almost a year and change away, but it's selling pretty good. So. That's right. I just put my deposit down, Eddie. I literally just put my deposit down two days ago. And the greatest part about it is, right, I put my deposit down, and it's not until 2025. And not early 2025. It's yeah. the end of 2025. So I don't even have to do the last payment till August of 2025. I'm going to do it well before that. But yeah. you still don't need to do it until August 2025. I'm like, that is a no-brainer. You get your drink package. You get to see all of the exclusive cover band shows the rock and roll band shows right you get your cruise fare you get a specialty dining or two depending on what cabin level that you that you book i mean it's yeah. just it, it's just an amazing value for yes. the price it's, it's an amazing cause for the price right and you're and you're helping helping hands for cruising and there's also going to be a uh, a receiver i believe i think sean told me from helping hands for cruising and maybe one or two i don't i don't want to Say anything yeah. that's not true, but I believe there will be one, at least one, helping hands for cruising recipient on that cruise, which is just, I mean, yeah. so a decision so. that uh, Sean and, and and his uh, company will have to do. But yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I'll play this too, just so you guys, in case you guys want any information, in case you guys want to know the dates, in case you want to come and rock and roll out with Eddie and I, uh, these are the dates. So. <laughs> Yeah, 
I can't wait. I can't wait. I am actually going to, I actually talked my friend Keone, who I took to uh, New Orleans on the Valor for the very first time. I actually talked him into going. Uh, it really wasn't that hard. I told him live music. I told him our drink package was included and it was not Carnival. It was NCL. He liked Carnival, but we had been talking about maybe cruising on a different line. I'm in, take my money. I said, oh, that was easy. <laughs> hey Bruce. Uh yeah, guess what? I found somebody. So yes. And I finally emailed Bruce. I finally called Bruce. So yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> All right. Definitely. So let me uh uh get down to the bottom of the chat here and then we will end this because we've been on quite some time here. I appreciate all of you. Uh Danny D says, glad I got to celebrate your birthday with you. Thank you very much, Danny D. We all did. You on Thursday too as well. Uh drink, drink, cheers. Uh, Traveling Gilbert says, happy birthday, my friend. Have a great week. Yes, I will see you on Saturday. Uh, Michelle says, we loved spending time with you, Scott. So glad we could do it on your birthday. Thank you so much. Uh, we were glad to be a part of the birthday. Great, fantastic show uh, with the most, uh, <laughs> with the fantastic host with the most. Happy birthday to a fantastic guy. Thank you so much. Now, now that you're here, uh, you are doing the Friday night show? I am. Match yes. Okay. Yes, we are. Yep, we're doing the match game again this uh, this week at 8 p.m. p. Uh, 8 p.m. EST. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, Paul uh, Zilla says his birthday is really controversial. Happy birthday, Scott! Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, we are trying to put two recipients on the cruise. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Uh, great stream. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Scott. And uh, Aunt June says, "Love you, kiddo. Talk to you soon." And happy birthday. And uh, Bill says, happy birthday again, Controversial Cruising. So, again, thank you guys uh, all for uh, for coming in, celebrating just a little bit of time here with me. I couldn't think of a better way to spend my birthday uh, than with you guys talking about cruising, giving away some stuff, and a few cocktails, and, uh, and hanging out with you guys. So, <laughs> uh, Eddie, uh, I, uh, what day is today? Today is Monday. So I will see you tomorrow in the morning on, uh, on your morning. morning. So uh, we have in the morning quickie. Quite, quite a lineup in the morning. I know Jimmy doesn't go on on Tuesdays anymore, but uh, I will uh, I will be up with you with a fresh pot of coffee uh, tomorrow at my time. Yes. So I should probably go to bed right now. <laughs> and after me, see me, then go live together and a whole bunch of other uh, creators uh, going throughout, throughout the night. That's right. And if you also want to see what's going on on YouTube, Eddie has taken over the job from Mr. PSV Odyssey, and he is giving us a schedule every single day on his uh, Facebook and also on his on the uh, the uh, Eddie Lugo Studios uh, Facebook too as well. So go on there, check it out. He does uh, morning to night schedule. So thank you so much for uh, for taking that over. Eddie. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, again, thank you guys for all uh, all coming in and enjoying just a little bit of my birthday. I am going to sign off here, and uh, I will see you later this week, guys, for uh, Cruise Talk Live on Wednesday. All right. Bye, guys.